Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me for this video. Before we get started, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever wished that you were like a super famous guitar player and you were so famous that gear companies reached out to you and wanted to work with you on a signature pedal or a guitar or whatever? Well, your dream's about to come true, at least with some effects pedals. You don't have to be a famous musician to have your own signature sound on a pedal now. With the TC Electronics pedals, especially like the delay that I'm demoing today, they have some other pedals that you can do this with as well, but today we're going to cover the Flashback 2. You can actually have your own signature sound with these pedals by using their software. So on the pedal, as you can see, you get four knobs and a switch that changes a couple things. And you could do the basic changes on the pedal, which are associated with uh, settings that we're all used to. But when you hook the pedal up to your computer or a mobile app, you can actually change tons of things under the hood. I mean, this pedal is literally the Harry Potter tent of pedals. I mean, it's amazing. It just looks so simple on the outside, but when you get on the inside of it, it's like huge. There's all these different things that you can change. So before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to my friend Steve Shaheen, who turned me on to this pedal, and I just, I can't believe how cool this pedal is. So let's um, go through the software right now quickly and um, show you basically what you get when you open it up so you have your user settings here you have a library with a bunch of settings that uh, famous guitar players have made and you can get those for free you can download those into the pedal and then you have templates which are basically some templates that uh, you know TC Electronics dialed in for the pedal and then you have your favorites you can save here as well so for now, let's go to the user. So I'll give you a quick run through of what I came up with last night on the pedal. And I'm actually going to adjust one of them while we're in this video as well. So again, these are all 100% tweakable. And there's features that you can tweak on these that are just amazing. And uh, I'll get into that in a second. So let's go into um, one called Big Crunch. So I'm going to play that for you really quick and just give you a couple, you know, riffs so you can hear what it does. Okay, so you got a nice delay for like, you know, big, big sections of your songs. If you want a little bit of delay on your crunch tone, well, there you go. And with this pencil over here on the top right, of this little screen here you can hit that and then all of your settings pop up and you can adjust anything you know so uh but we'll get into that in a minute so let's go to the flange delay I mean, that is really cool. Normally on a delay pedal, you'll have to buy a pedal that just does that. You know, it's just got this thing on there where it has a little bit of modulation and you're kind of stuck with whatever it gives you. But with this, you could change all of the parameters associated with that mod on your delay repeats. And it's just so cool how you can really tailor it to your taste and needs. Now let's go to the subtle mod where I put a little bit of chorus on there and it does have a little bit of a sweeping effect but I just wanted something a little more subtle so let's hear that right now <laughs> okay so that's a lot more subtle but it does have a nice sweep to it and you know, depending on your taste, you're going to like these effects that I'm dialing in or not. But again, just so you know, everything is completely tweakable. So let's go ahead and see what the software looks like. So let's go ahead and go to our templates. And we're going to choose the 2290, which is what I've been using for all these different uh, tone prints so far. I really like that delay and it's awesome. So again, you just choose the template here, which is the 2290, and then you just click on the pencil which means you want to edit everything and um, you can drag these up or down but what I found is is faster and easier and more accurate is just double click on the number and type in what you want so for 
crunch rhythm delays I always go with 650 milliseconds and for repeats I found 20 percent is about right for me and uh, so here's where I did the high cut so let's hear what this sounds like right now okay so that sounds pretty good but we're gonna go ahead and lower this down a little bit I don't want it to be so bright, but it was a little on the dark side, so I'm going to change that now. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so let's turn it all the way up so I can show you how bright it is. Okay, that's a little bright for me. Because I want something that just gives me space without interrupting my notes so much, especially playing rhythms. I don't want any interruption. I want some clarity still. And darkening up the uh, repeats definitely helps with that. So let's see where we're at at this setting. Yeah, that sounds perfect to me. I mean, that's really just about right. Um, so I think I fixed it. I think that's exactly what I'm looking for. So this is how simple it is. Uh, but before I save this, let me just show you all the other different features you can use. So you got modulation. You can enable that right here and choose from a whole bunch of different settings. You know, flangers, choruses, all kinds of crazy stuff that you can do. And we'll get into that in a minute as well. And then you have an octaver. You can adjust the mash settings. Uh, basically what mash is, is when you hold down the button on the uh, delay pedal, it will do something crazy, you know, and it might just give you a ton of repeats or take one of the settings that you've dialed in in the pedal and kind of exaggerate it. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with that. So that's really cool. And um, then you have the product settings here you know different things that you want to do with the mash switch you can turn that on and off external tap tempo buffered bypass true bypass kill dry on and off so you know all that stuff you can do let's go ahead and save this now and uh i really do like this uh much better and it was very easy to dial in as you saw so and then you can name it too so you know where to find it in your software anytime you want to download your own tone prints back into your pedal and shuffle them around you know how to find them and you can name them accordingly so we'll just go ahead and name this one All right, so now let's get really creative and let's do a really cool delay with a mod on it. And the mod I really like is one with a flanger and it just really puts a nice spin on the notes and I'll show you how to achieve that now. So let's select the 2290 and hit the edit button. Let's get our basic settings here, 650 uh, for the delay time and 20 for the feedback and we'll leave the high cut alone for now we'll come back and adjust that if needed and we'll enable the modulation and the adb flanger is the one that i like um so let's see what it's like out of the box i don't even know if we're going to hear much uh let's just hear what we got and we'll work from there okay so you're not going to hear any effect because you got to turn the mix up so let's go ahead and turn that up to, let's just see where we're at here. Okay, so we got some effect, but it kind of sounds like crap. So let's go ahead and make some adjustments here. Now, the thing that you got to remember is with these adjustments here on the LFO 1 depth and LFO 1 speed, you don't want to go really far with them. Otherwise, it sounds really crazy and it can get really discouraged and be like, oh, I can't use this. It just sounds like crap. So you want to just bring it up a little at a time and find that sweep that you're looking for. Let's see where we're at here. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, we got some hope here. We got a little bit of a, a swirl on the end of one of those. So let's just see. Let's turn the speed up so we get a little quicker swirl and uh, it doesn't take so long for it to uh, spin around on us. Let's see where we're at now. All right, we're getting somewhere. All right, so let's find that sweet spot on the sweep of that swirl that we're getting with the flanger. Okay, so that might be a little high. So let's take it down to right around here. See where we're at. Now that's freaking awesome. I like that. All right, so I think we got ourselves a really nice sounding uh, sweep here on the flanger. And uh, just for giggles, let's go through the different flangers. So we have the classic flanger. I actually like the ADV flanger the best. It's richer and thicker sounding, and it doesn't have that weird, uh, phasey sound to it. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. So. As far as the uh, mix goes, you can crank the mix up too. Let's see what we got with that. So when you crank the mix all the way up, you kind of lose the effect. So let's bring it back down to 50%. I think that's the way to go. Yeah, that sounds really cool. I mean, it's like having a flanger on your guitar sound, but it only comes on the repeats and your main notes don't have it. So you get that clarity and that true guitar tone that you love uh, at first, and then that flanger is kind of going on in the background. And then when you stop playing, it gives the notes a little bit of a spin, and it's really cool. It's just a little bit of ear candy for yourself and your audience to listen to while you're performing live. Now keep in mind too, on these pedals, you have three slots on these pedals for you to put these different uh, tone prints on. So you can have three different slots on your pedal to switch from. So on you know specific songs, you could just reach down real quick and switch to another type of delay with some uh, different mods or other types of uh, tweaks that you've done with it for your songs you know and it's really cool to have all of that stuff at your fingertips and you can get as creative as you want with all of this stuff and dial in all of your own specific settings for all of your effects and you can actually have your own signature sound with this stuff i just think that this pedal is just so freaking cool i mean there's 
limitless things you can do with it. I mean, I've just done stuff with the 2290. You can do stuff with all of the other types of delays that this pedal has as well. With analog uh, delays, with tape echo, I mean, there's all these different things that you can do. And then you can go in there and deep dive and do all this stuff and save it to your pedal and have it at your fingertips or at your toe tips <laughs> whenever you want. So let's go ahead and dial in another delay. Now this one I'm going to do for leads, okay? And so with leads, I always go with 850 milliseconds. That's pretty much what I do. And let's go with like 30% uh, feedback. Let's see how that is. And I still want to warm this up a little bit. Uh, by taking the high cut and put it in, in there and just you know it just helps me create a little bit of space and I think eight is a really good number to use for the high cut at least on this pedal and we'll double check that in a minute here but uh, so let's go ahead and see where we're at with these settings Okay, that sounds really good. I think the repeats are pretty good. I mean, you got to remember, I'm playing this in a mix. So if I want to do this in a mix, I mean, for sure, I want uh, the delays to sound a little bit too loud outside of a mix so that when I'm in a mix, they sound perfect. And I think this is probably about right here. I mean, this was super easy. Okay, you even have a low cut on this as well. So if you really want to thin out those repeats and not have them be too aggressive or too much low end, sometimes you get too much low end depending on your settings of your amp or whatever. And you just want the, uh, you know, the repeats to be a little lighter and kind of airy. You can do that with a low cut as well. So let's go ahead and do that and see what that's like. That actually sounds really good too. So it just thinned it out a little bit and made it sit, uh, you know, on top of the notes that I was doing better. So you don't have uh, too much thickness or fullness. It just sounds kind of light and it brings it a little bit more in the background. So I kind of like that as well. For now, I'm going to keep that down to, you know, to right here because. I have to test this in a mix later and see what my final settings will be and always test these in a mix and make sure you know I mean it's definitely a good idea to do but I think with these settings right here alone this is really good I mean you know 850 milliseconds 30 percent feedback and you know take the high cut down to about eight kilohertz here and I think that's going to be really good I mean this this is super simple to do you know I mean this isn't going to be uh, a long video because it's really easy i mean it's it, it is a deep dive video but there's not all this stuff that i'm going to waste your time with you know because a lot of this stuff i don't really need to adjust because everything's pretty you know pretty normal here you know i mean you can add still modulation to this you know you can definitely do that if you want to uh but with uh solos and stuff maybe i want to just keep it simple but i can do that though the nice thing about this pedal is i can have three settings so i can have settings for solos where i have some modulation as well you know just for giggles let's go ahead and do that uh let's go ahead and add that uh adv flanger again and let's bring those settings up to where i think i remember it was about right here and about right here Bring the mix up to about 50%. And let's see what this sounds like for a solo. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. You know what that'd be good for is when you're doing something where you're playing in and out. You know what I mean? You're just jumping in and putting in a couple riffs and then pulling back out again and letting them live for a second and letting them breathe in between uh when you come in and out when you're just doing some quick passages let's just see what that's like and maybe this would be pretty cool for a secondary uh lead preset <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, so you can make a secondary one for that and use that for stuff where you're just coming in and out with things and you want the audience to enjoy not only the riffs that you're playing, but that little bit of spin that's on the repeats that uh, happen after you pull out of the riff. You know, I mean, that that's just little stuff like that. I'm telling you, it's the little things when you're playing live that matter. All of that stuff matters. And a lot of times people will enjoy your playing and not just because of what you're doing, but what happens in between your notes as well and the types of effects that you have and how you dialed them in. It's all those little finishing touches that you put on your sound that really can brighten up a performance and uh, seriously like make people enjoy what you're doing more. And on top of that, you're going to enjoy it more too because you're enjoying what you're hearing and you're going to play in such a way where this stuff really comes out and it and you're going to be bouncing off of this stuff and allowing it to breathe a little bit and it really does make a big difference. All right, so here's a really cool preset I just found that's uh, just in here, and it's already dialed in, called Mod. Let's check that out and see what uh, this sounds like. That actually sounds pretty cool. Now, what's cool about these types of presets is when you're playing your chords, again, like I was saying earlier, your original notes are going to be dry as far as like any kind of effect. This has a mod on it, which means it's got a little bit of chorus on it. And so your original notes are going to be chorus free. They're just going to be dry as far as that kind of effect goes. But after you hit the note or the chord, the effect comes in afterwards and brings that chorus in with it. So you get the best of both worlds. You have a dry signal initially, and then this chorus kind of fades in, and you get a little bit of modulation on top of it with the delay repeats. Check this out. I'll write out some chords, and you can hear it come in and color the tone a little bit. It's subtle, but it's noticeable, and it gives you just a little bit of spin on your chords and your notes. That's actually really cool. And again, this is just a factory preset, and here's all the settings here, and you can adjust all that as well. You know, you can adjust it and save it and make it your own template. It's just a good springboard to jump off of and just tweak things to your taste and save that. And there you go. Most of the time, I don't like presets uh, that, you know, that come from the, the maker because they're usually really crazy and over the top. And they're trying to show you, look how crazy you can get with our effect. And to me, I'm like, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep things kind of normal and put it in a musical setting but uh i'm glad that you're showing me how far i can push it but um i don't think most people would push things that far but this particular uh tone print is actually really good i might tweak a few things about it but uh other than that it's pretty much uh you know turnkey for most people anyways but anyways i just wanted to show you guys what this pedal is capable of i mean for 150 bucks I mean, you get something really amazing, and you can have your own signature sounds in your delays. And I don't know if there's many other pedals or maybe any other pedals that allow you to do this in such a simple way. And from what I've seen, uh, TC Electronic is working on a way where you can actually share your tone prints with each other, with other people, which I think would be really cool. Uh, so if that ever ends up happening, I would really love to uh, share some of my tone prints with you guys and check some of yours out as well. Just go on TC Electronics website and download the software that's associated with this. And you can do it with their chorus pedals, you can do it with their delay pedals, and I guess some of their other pedals as well. I don't own anything but the uh, Corona Chorus, and then I have the Dreamscape, and then of course I have the Flashback 2. I actually have two Flashback 2s. So I'm going to have six presets, 
in my flashback twos that I'm going to use because one I use for rhythms and one I use for leads. So I'm going to have three different presets per pedal uh, for those. So I'm going to be using those in my live streams and in my produced videos that I do for the channel as well. Well, anyways, again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys very much. Thanks to all my subscribers and Patreon supporters. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're new to the channel, this is your first time here. Welcome. I'm glad you watched and hung out with me. Please subscribe and make sure you click the bell so that you can get notified every time I come out with new episodes or go live. We go live every Wednesday night at 8 and every Sunday night at 7. And as I always say, I got a lot of great stuff coming up and I'll see you on the next one.